In this video we're going to make this wallpaper in Photoshop and we're really only going to use like three different tools so it's a really simple thing to make and I'll go through each step in uh, detail. So we're going to click up here to make a new document. With I'm going to use 1280 by 800 pixels because um, I'm on a MacBook and that is my screen resolution. Um, this will differ depending on what uh, kind of screen you've got. So uh, you should just uh, kind of figure out what that one is. Resolution, we're going to use 300 pixels an inch. That's a nice high resolution just in case we want to print it. Um, you won't notice any benefit on a computer, but if you're going to print this image, uh, it would look a lot better. So we'll click OK, and first thing we're going to do is switch our uh, foreground color to black, or just click this uh, little button down there, and we're going to press Command or Control, depending on if you're on a Mac or a PC, and then Delete. Oh, I need to do Option or Alt, uh, depending on Mac or PC, since it is my foreground color. And so we've got it filled with black. We're going to make a new layer now, and that's going to be for a pink color. And we're using FF00FF. So that's uh, like a 100% uh, magenta in this case. I'm gonna go to the brush tool, pick a nice soft brush where the edges kind of fade out. And we're gonna press the right uh, curly bracket to make it bigger. Do maybe 600 pixels in this case. And just click in the middle of your document. Now we're going to make a new layer, and we're going to change the color this time to kind of a bluish green. So I've got 00FFAE, and all the codes for the colors will be in the sidebar. So I'm going to go to my move tool, I'm going to drag the uh, green one over to the left, I'm going to zoom out by hitting command or control and then minus, and I'm going to make it a lot bigger. and just move it over again to the uh, edge. Now we'll get the uh, magenta one. Again, make it bigger. Make it a bit bigger. And there we go. So we'll zoom in by doing Command or Control and then Plus. Now we can make uh, the, uh, if we go to our original, make all these little dots here. So we'll make a new layer again, go to your uh, brush, paintbrush again, we're going to use a hard edge brush so the edges don't fade out. We're going to make it a bit bigger by hitting the right curly bracket as usual and we're going to go into the brush settings, it's called brush dynamics actually. We're going to bring up the hue jitter which as we paint it's going to change the hue of the brush just a bit and we're going to turn on scatter as well. You can kind of see what it might look like up in the uh, little preview over there. We'll do somewhere around 90%. Just hit enter. I think we'll make it a bit bigger. Right curly bracket. And color. That'll make it black and white. Now we'll do uh, just white. So as you paint in this layer, it's just going to fill it with dots. And that's what we're going for. So we've got all these little dots here. I'll just check if I've got the blend mode. Okay, yeah, perfect. Um, this is called the blend mode select over here. We're going to set it to overlay. And this is basically how the dots blend in with their background. If we put it on linear dodge, it's going to add the two colors, overlay, is uh, when you're going to use a lot in Photoshop and uh, that's the effect there. We're going to zoom out again doing the usual command control and then minus. Make a new layer and we're going to go over, well this will appear as your lasso tool but select polygonal lasso and we're going to go from the corner we can do really from wherever you want over, we'll make just a rectangle. Press enter to commit to the selection, we're going to go to the gradient tool and we'll do linear gradient 
and we're going to do foreground to transparent, and my foreground's white. If it isn't, you can just change that uh, in here. So you can change it to black or red or whatever color. We're going to use white, though. I'm inside the selection, just drag. You can see, well, we'll go from bottom to top. There we go. So c press Command or Control D to deselect. And uh, we're going to set this blend mode to soft light. And you can see we've got kind of a highlight there. Uh, we're going to do this a couple times. I might speed this up depending on how the final time goes. But uh, it's going to be the same. Whoops. Oh, that's my gradient. It's going to be the same uh, procedure every time. Make a shape. We're going to use straight lines in this case. Uh, use the gradient tool to fill it. Set the blend mode to soft light. Command or control D to deselect. And then make a new layer and do it all over again. And we're just going to kind of make some, yeah, some highlighty stripes in this document. Enter. So there we go, we've added some uh, some streaks in here, and uh, the, the final effect really just depends on how you uh, lay these out. So in here, if I turn off the uh, blend mode, just turn it to normal, you can see where I've put the gradients. Normal. Normal. Is that even going? Oh, keeps changing my battery stuff. Normal. There. And this looks alright by itself, but with the DOS, it really uh, it looks kind of pretty cool. Um, with these lines, what you can do is change the blend mode uh, more. So if you put it to, like, overlay, looks different. Uh, wouldn't recommend multiply makes it kind of dark. But yeah, just play around with the blend modes. A lot of uh, learning Photoshop is just playing around with uh, different settings. And I think I'll put, bring my dots layer, just grab it and drag it above the uh, the shapes there. Also you can decrease the opacity, make it less clear, well opaque. Um, play around with that kind of thing. Um, so that's about it guys, thanks for watching this beginner photoshop tutorial, I uh, want to remind you to subscribe to the channel so every time I make a new video it'll just show up on your youtube.com homepage. Um, keep in mind this video, we use techniques, work in photoshop, cs3, 4, and recent elements versions. Thanks for watching.